So Insomniac Games has released an official statement in regards to the damaging leaks that occurred earlier this week. And just to give those of you who are unfamiliar with the story a little bit of background, the rest of you can just feel free to skip to the next timestamp. But essentially a little over a week ago, a ransomware group named Reseda claimed responsibility for a cybersecurity hack on Insomniac Studios and claimed to have extensive leaks in regards to the highly anticipated Wolverine game, as well as other information about future projects that Insomniac is working on. On. Really, the big one is that they had access to private information of their employees past and present. Essentially, they said to Sony that we will leak this content in seven days if you do not pay us $2 million in Bitcoin. Sony did not take the bait. Just a couple days ago, all this information flooded the web. It might possibly be the most damaging cybersecurity hack that we've ever seen in the game industry. It's been absolutely nuts. I mean, there's a fully playable version version of Wolverine that's out there. I don't really advise that you go ahead and try to play it because I know that Sony is currently hunting down anyone that downloads this game. I've seen stuff about people really coming at the build of Wolverine, just analyzing this game as if this is a fully released game, which to me is absolutely crazy because we're looking at essentially the development of the game, that we're looking at stuff that might not even be in the final build, and we're just making these crazy judgments based based off of like literally a pre-alpha build of Wolverine. I've seen all sorts of crazy takes. I mean, if you're someone that feels that it is an equivalency that because they put in a side mission you didn't like in Spider-Man 2, that all these people deserve to have their private information leaked, then you need to get your head checked. I just think that we have an issue in our society that if something does not directly happen to us, then we feel that it's okay for these other people to be dragged on the internet, their personal information to be leaked. What is going on? here. I think we need to just get a grip on ourselves. That's a whole other conversation for a whole other time. So Insomniac released their official statement yesterday and I gotta say it was really well written uh, all things considered. I would be through the moon upset and they were able to give a very measured response. So I'm gonna share it with you guys right now. Thank you for the outpouring of compassion and unwavering support. It's deeply appreciated. We're both saddened and angered about the recent criminal cyber attack on our studio and the emotional toll it's taken on our dev team. We have focused inward for the last several days to support each other. We are aware that the stolen data includes personal information belonging to our employees, former employees, and independent contractors. It also includes early development details about Marvel's Wolverine for PlayStation 5. We continue working quickly to determine what data was impacted. This experience has been extremely distressing for us. We want everyone to enjoy the games we develop as intended and as our players deserve. However, like Logan, Insomniac is resilient. Marvel's Wolverine continues as planned. The game is in early production production and will no doubt greatly evolve throughout development as do all our projects. While we appreciate everyone's enthusiasm, we will share official information about Marvel's Wolverine when the time is right. On behalf of everyone at Insomniac, thank you for your ongoing support during this challenging time. Obviously, this was probably drafted by a PR team. Still, extremely well written and very measured all things considered and this is probably going to be remembered as one of the biggest cyber breaches in video game history this is a studio that is very protective over their information i know this because when i was covering spider-man 2 there was very little information up until the release i mean they had that awesome gameplay trailer and then they really kind of held a lot back until right before the game came out and i think they did it on purpose because they want people to be surprised Surprised. I mean, listen, I just wouldn't worry so much about it. I wouldn't be over here, like, you know, making any final decisions based off of this early leaked gameplay. I'm a strong believer that let them put the game out when they feel it's ready. It's not even from a moral standpoint. It's just from the fact that you're not seeing what the game is actually going to be. During the development of anything, whether it be a movie or a video game, there's tons of different things that they try, that they put in a game, and then they're taken out, and they're tested, and 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 so on and so forth so this game could be considerably different by the time it makes it out really this is just a terrible thing that has happened these are human beings we got to learn how to be able to distinguish a disagreement with just humanity because at the end of the day if we can't distinguish those two things then we are just gone as a society so anyways let me know what you thought in the comments of the statement um i thought it was very well written very well measured all things considered and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy the content that i cover on my channel and as always my name is eric rosas and i hope you all have a fantastic day